On Wall Street overall, there was renewed pressure on the technology sector. The Nasdaq posted its biggest two-day slide since December, and that took the rest of the market down with it. Apple was the worst performing stock on the Dow index, following an analyst downgrade today and a price target cut. Dow Jones Industrial Average lost 36 points to 21,235. The Nasdaq was off 32, and the S&P 500 fell too. But after outperforming the market this year, some say the pullback in the tech sector is healthy. Others say it is not. So we asked Bob Pisani to lay out both sides of that debate. This sudden movement is generating a lot of healthy debate about whether the great technology run of 2017 is over. Tech, of course, has been the big mover this year, up 17 percent and far outperforming the 8 percent gain for the S&P 500. There are arguments on both the bull and the bear side on this. Now, the bears argue that tech is overowned, that it's oversaturated or it's a crowded trade. It's all true, particularly those so-called fang names, the Facebooks, Amazons, Apples, Googles, Netflix, Microsofts. But the big tech names are better capitalized and have more stable profits than their old counterparts during the dot-com boom. That doesn't mean they won't go down. They're just more stable. Bears do have one big point. These are traditionally cyclical stocks, which means they can be volatile. Investors are treating them more like old-fashioned safety stocks, like consumer staples with no volatility. That's a mistake, and we saw that on Friday. The bull's main argument is this. With a few exceptions, valuations of even big tech names is not excessive. True, some of the big names, the Facebooks and especially Amazon, they have price-to-earnings ratios way above the S&P norm of about 18. That's because the market is assuming very strong revenue growth for these companies, which is not proven to be wrong, at least not yet. And take the biggest name of all, Apple, which currently trades at about 16 times 2017 earnings. That's hardly inflated. Apple's had very high valuations in the past, but not today. Tech is strong because tech companies have plenty of new business opportunities. Think about it. There's the growth of artificial intelligence. There's robotics. There's genomics. There's cloud computing. There's self-driving cars and the Internet of Things. No lack of opportunities for tech names. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Bob Pisani at the New York Stock Exchange.